why why does why does it matter then? Because for the for most people, they just they like what they like. They're judging things on a purely subjective, like right. does this please me kind of basis. So why is it important? What what does it bring to culture? Have to have the opportunity for individuals to create and own their own media. What does that bring to culture? Yeah. Is that the question? Sure. That might seem like a dumb question. <laughs> no, I just want to sort of restate the yeah. question in the way that I right. hear it, which is that of course that's important. Like of course if you sort of want to experience music, you should also and, and you really enjoy it and you're you're the kind of person who enjoys making it as much as you enjoy hearing it, you should also feel the right in our culture to produce it and have it distributed in a way that benefits you instead of having it distributed in a way that benefits a corporation that you have no ownership in or voice in. Mm -hmm. um, Does that apply? Why do you think that applies more so in art than in, say, food or? I don't think it should. I, don't think it does. Right. I think I think there should be indie or independent whatever term we decide we can all agree on at the moment <laughs> in all the in all aspects of of our lives and it, we don't have it i mean i don't have it and it's very very hard to engage in i mean i'm this douglas rushcroft book we were talking about earlier i mean it just made me so aware of how yeah, sure. much I mean, you know i think the easiest way to be independent is to be Fifteen, <laughs> recording in your parents' basement, and mm -hmm. you know to be doing it surely for the love of what you're doing. No that doesn't me. necessarily yeah. mean yeah. that it's good or that you know other people have an interest in it. But I mean, if you want to be or should have an interest in it, right? But if you want to be a purist and say we don't want anything else attached to it, but you know doing it about the, the having having it be all about the passion and about you wanting to create something, that's the place where it happens. And, um, you know, I guess I've gotten to a point where personally I don't necessarily care about that so much. I care about people who are producing something that I enjoy mm -hmm. and who they respect the work that they're doing and feel good about it. And if it required them to, you know, sell a song to a commercial at some point and that allowed them to have a whole independent career on their own, you know, personally, I don't mind that so much because I think that you're making a, you have to make a living somehow. And if you end up making that living, you know, based on the fact that you have to work in a cubicle every day and so you only have this small amount of time to spend on your art, um, you know, then you're, you're limiting yourself in that way. And if you make $50,000 off a single song and that allows you to take a couple of, a year or a couple of years, to, to just work on your art purely, I, I personally, you know, I don't find that objectionable, but I know that there was a time when I was, you know, in college, uh, you know, in the early 90s where there was a lot more discussion about that, like, is so-and-so a sellout, you know, and I, th I think it's interesting that that whole conversation it's seems to have no, gone away. No, but it's away. gone away because the corporate system oh, has infiltrated further and further into what we mean by indie, and disguised itself in a very particular way to cut that political engagement. Absolutely. There, there is well, some truth to that in the sense that like, I ran a magazine for a long time. It was almost a graduation for us where we never outright said we're not going to take money. When money appeared and no, <laughs> nothing was asked for in return, we sort of just took it and did things with it. When that, that worked for a long time, when it became a struggle again and that started, the table started to turn and they did start to ask for things. Everything moved into events or um, can we do web stuff, new media? Like it, it was clear that they had objectives for how they wanted to spend their money. They didn't understand what we were trying to do, which is sort of an old school with lifestyle really magazine did. from the 60s and 70s. It worked for a while, right? Well, and then it ended. And you know what? When right. it got when it got hard, we abandoned that format and we're moving into book publishing right. because I just didn't find it amusing anymore. We had too many employees that we had to keep track of to make sure that they were selling our ideology properly because. We, I mean, we never said we were independent or anything, except that we do have an independent mindset about how we put things together. And I think to anyone who reads what we did, you know, in the magazine, and, and hopefully will continue to do with books, is it's so obvious that the editors are running what we're doing and not like a corporation or advertisers because we don't do any advertorial. We don't everything we do is sort of makes absolutely no sense commercially. So uh, there was no way for them to really ever co-op us because we didn't do list stories or something like that, which was always asked upon. Like, how come you're not doing? 
advertisers would point blank say, you know, why aren't you doing more of this kind of stuff? And I was like, well, the Us Weeklies of the world, there's like 18 of those magazines that come out every week and they have a niche and it doesn't make any sense. So I think that the corporate culture has totally co-opted itself so far that it's almost gonna like start all over again in a way. It, what it's sad, I think, is the labels I was most fervent about when I was a kid, which were all independent labels. Lookout, which had a unique distribution channel, they're no longer around. Discord, you know, it's still doing things, but not, it's not like the powerhouse it was in, in, in that time. And uh, Touch and Go, I guess, sadly enough, is, you know, they had a unique distribution model for independent music for a ton of labels.